Okay, class, let us continue our uh, discussion on the chain rule for anti differentiation. So, last time we uh, discussed about the concept, and then we have example number one. So, this time I'm going to give you the second example. Okay, so example number two for this topic. So, we're given the integral of x squared multiplied by the square root of x cubed plus 1 times dx. And by the way, this is cubed plus this is 3. Okay, then like what we did uh, in our first example, we can rewrite this. Uh, let us uh, rewrite this in terms of rational exponent, the radical, and then rearranging. So we can have this uh, x cubed plus 1 and raised to a power 1 half. Okay, so square root, so meaning the rational exponent is 1 half. Then times x squared dx. Okay, then after that, we have to ident identify what is our u and what is our n. So our n here is equal to 1 half. So we can solve for n plus 1, which is equal to 3 halves. Okay, and then we can let, we can let u be equal to x cubed plus 1. Then from here, we can solve for our du over dx, or derivative of u with respect to x, which is equal to, so derivative of x cubed, so we have 3 x squared, then derivative of 1 is equal to 0. So solving for du, so we can multiply both sides by dx, or cross multiply dx. So this is 3x squared times dx. Okay. So if you look at the given, so this part here, okay, so I'll continue it here. So oh, by the way, we forget to write the integral sign. Okay, so integral of, so this part here, we let this equal to u, so we can rewrite this as u to the power 1 half. Okay? And then we are going to find this part here. What is this in terms of du? Because we have u here, so it must be something that contains du. And we can find it from here. So our du here is equal to 3x squared dx. Then to solve for x squared dx, so from here, so we can divide both sides by 3. So dividing both sides by 3, so we have x squared dx, which is exactly what we are looking for. So this one is this one here, and which is equivalent to d over 3. So substituting, so instead of writing x squared dx, which is equal to d over u, so you write d u over u. Ah, sorry, d over 3. And we know that uh, this one can be written also as integral of u to the 1 half. So d over 3 is just 1 third d u. So they are just the same. Then put this outside the radical. Ah, sorry, the integral symbol. So we have 1 third integral of u to the 1 half times d u. Okay, which is now in a form of the power formula. So one third using the power uh, formula. So we have u to the n plus 1. n plus 1 is 3 halves over 3 halves and plus c. Okay, from the rules of division of fractions, so we can rewrite this as one third. Invert the divisor, proceed to multiplication. So we have two third. Then u to the 3 halves plus c. Okay?
All right, so how will we proceed? So we will just multiply 1 times 2 times u or just 1 times 2 is 2 and uh, this is 3 halves 2 thirds so 3 times 3 so that is now 3 times 3 so that would be 2 over 9 u to the 3 halves plus c or we can rewrite this as 2 over 9 Uh, our u is equal to x cubed, no? x cubed plus 1, so raised to 3 halves plus c, which is equal to 2 over 9 times, so you can put this inside a radical, so x cubed plus 1, and power 3, then square root okay and then plus c and this is also equivalent to uh, 2 over 9 times the or times x cubed plus 1 then you take the square root and the whole thing here to the power 3 plus c okay so this is our answer all right so that's our example number two so please kindly double check if we missed something okay i think it's okay so thank you very much class hope to see you again in our next video bye